recently I was in a raid with a player who had played since D1 and had never completed a raid, which we helped him complete. He struggled a bit surviving the raid even though he was at level and reminded me that even some longtime players who have played again for years can use some basic tips on how to survive in PvE in Destiny 2. So in this guide today, I'm going to give you some quick tips on how to survive most PvE and especially endgame PvE content. Again, I think this will help pretty much any newer player and even some mid-tier players that maybe have played for a while but aren't as familiar with more endgame PvE content in Destiny 2. First off, the first one, don't die. I know that sounds flippant, but that is a key when playing any endgame PvE content in Destiny 2. Deaths require revives, and it can balance the side of an encounter while your fire team covers for you. I know everyone wants to be a hero, but if you want to be a hero, don't die. Along with the above, make sure you use cover. I know in much of the base game, much of the base PvE content, you don't need that. But when you're playing something that's more towards endgame, that's anything that's like Legend or above, anything that's like a Lost Sector, some of the seasonal activities, raids, some of the higher level strikes, you need to do that. Basically treat the game like you would in PvP. If you're in a particular encounter and you have an opportunity, make sure you scout ahead and look for opportunities where you can where you can go into cover, where you can hide potentially because there are times in the firefight where things are going to heat it and you need a second to recover. Maybe you need some health back or maybe someone on your fire team has died and you need a second to recover to revive them. Again, it's really useful to find out and scout and make sure you use cover where appropriate. Use your abilities. If you're a Warlock, make sure you have your Rifts ready, and make sure if you can to get builds that, that spawn those over a period of time. If you're a Hunter, make sure you can go Invisible. If you're a Titan, make sure that you know where you can place your barrier to help, us, help protect you. I know that sounds pretty simple, but in stressful situations, people forget some of the basics of the game, and those things can help you, again, it, when you're in a situation where you need to recover or you need to revive a fire team member. Do a little research before you play. If you're joining a raid or higher nightfall, check out a video or guide so you understand some of the risks and pitfalls you encounter. You can also check what sort of inbound damage types are coming in and make your build out appropriate. So for instance, are there snipers in this activity? Is there arc damage? Is there void damage? Those are the sort of things you can check ahead of time just to make sure that you're well prepared. From a stats perspective, recovery is more important than resilience. Resilience will give you additional health. But the trade-off is you're going to take points away that you could have been using mods for other things to help protect you or for recovery. So again, plan your build appropriately for endgame content because at some point in the encounter, you're going to need to recover that health. And a lot of times that's more important than the amount of health that you actually have on your character. Maximize basic mods where possible. First off, with my last tip, if you have some armor that has poor recovery, you can easily use recovery mods that you get from just playing the game. On your chest, you can also get burn-based resistance. Again, this is where some of the research comes in. You can get concussive dampener, which prote protects against AOE damage, or you can get melee or sniper resistance. Again, this is where scouting out and understanding the activity is gonna help you out a great deal. All of these mods that I'm talking about, you can easily get from just playing game. These aren't higher-end mods that you have to kind of plan for. These are things that you should have or can get from just easily playing the game. In the future, I'll probably put together some more advanced videos which have more tips around builds and things like that, which if you're curious to builds, I have plenty of those on my channel, but this is something for, even if you're the most basic player, you can at least then prepare for playing more difficult content for your first time. If you liked the video, and I hope you did, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, hop in my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.